back for another lovely craft video and as I promised this is going to be part two of our craft where I kind of messed up a little bit so this is going to be the fix to the fail. If you haven't seen the fail video I will put it down below and also I will try to link it in the cards somewhere around in this general area or over here. I can't remember which side they're on. But um, if you haven't seen part one go and watch that and you'll see why I had to come up with a new idea for this second part. This is part two. So if you've seen the first part you will recognize that this is our little plaque that we were making and originally it was supposed to say um greetings ghouls on it and then i was going to put a another little um vinyl sticker on here that was a spider web but i ended up doing something a bit different so and i also changed the font of how i did this as well and i went ahead and spray painted this so it's a bit more glossy so and i haven't put the and right now i've opted not to put the um the striping on it just because i kind of like it like that it makes it look a bit more I don't know, not like festive, because I didn't really want it festive. I wanted it more like a basic staple home decor piece. So that is what this ended up being. But as I will show you in the video, I remade this sticker. I didn't show you me making the sticker because it's me just printing out a vinyl and then bleeding it. And you know, I did show you me putting this on here because I freehanded putting this on here instead of actually trying to use the adhesive tape and put it on there. And that is shining back in the uh, in the camera there. But then for this part, this is the addition that is different. So let's see if y'all can really see that. There we go. That is a real spider web on there and I'm going to show you exactly how I got the real spider web on there because I thought it would look better than me just putting a regular sticker on there. I mean anybody can do that, yes, but anybody can find a real spider web that has been abandoned by its little evil creator. I don't like spiders, but I like their webs. They're pretty, obviously, they're pretty little works of art. <laughs> but if you can find one that's been abandoned, then you can go ahead and use this technique to put this on pretty much anything. I've been doing a lot of spider web art that way because we do have a lot of spiders that they'll abandon their webs and then we'll go, I'll go around and find them and then you'll see the webs pop up somewhere else because they've just decided to move depending on how the light is going. So we have a lot of those. I live in the woods. There's a lot of spider webs everywhere. But we're going to be, I'm going to show you how I did all this. And then as a little addition, you know, just something very quick and simple, I'm going to show you this cup that we made. So I'll go ahead and cut to the video and then I'll meet y'all back when we're done. All right, everybody. So we are here for our craft video. This is going to be the part two of our craft fail. Remember, I said I was going to show you how I was going to fix that little board that we made or the little plaque that I was working on that ended up being looking horrible. So here's what I've done so far. I just went ahead and repainted it off camera. That way you didn't have to sit there and watch that because you've been watched it once. But I did go ahead and just repaint it. I hit it with some spray paint and then I did just a light covering over it with some acrylic paint just to give it more of a, I don't know, more of that brush look because if you look really closely in it, let's see here, if you look really closely you can see like some brush strokes in it which is what I wanted you to be able to see. I didn't want it to be like completely like gloss and clear. So what I'm going to do with this because I'm going to show you this, I'm also going to show you another little thing. So it's just, just not this that you're watching. I'm going to show you something else as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm still going to use my Cricut. And I made, I remade a decal. So this one says greetings goals, but I did it in a different font. So what I'm going to do is actually place these individually on the board, like on the little plaque. I have my little tweezers here, my little Cricut tweezers. So I'm going to be using those. And we're just going to place these individually on this without using the transfer tape where it would pull this up. Now I did try and cut out a paper um, stencil, but where I had the E's and the I's and stuff, it just it did not come right because it just cut out the letter and there was no way for me to keep the middle section. So this is going to be the best way for me to do this. Another option that you could do is I have some right here, is if you have... If you go to Michaels or someplace and they have a pack of stickers, you can get these and you can just place them on here to spell out what you want and it be in either in the black if you want to do white or if you do the black, you can do like a pretty orange on it if you want it more Halloween. I want mine as an all year thing, so I'm doing black and white because those are my colors. So let me go ahead and make sure 
and make sure I have it on the right side right here. So this is where it's going to sit. And then I'm going to start, okay? I'm going to start from the end and work my way out so I know exactly where these are going to be placed on the board. So I'm gonna sit here and do this. I'm just gonna show you a few and then I'm gonna stop and then I'll show you whenever it's done. But I'm just gonna show you. We're just going to pick up a few of the letters. Okay. I cut my nails, so this would have been a lot easier if I had not cut my nails. Okay, so I'm just gonna take that letter All right, and I'm going to place it on the board like so. So there is one letter and I'm going to do this for the remainder of the letter. So I'll show you one more. So I'm just going to peel it up, use my tweezers to kind of grab it. Okay, and then I want to try and line it up as straight as possible. Alrighty, so I'm going to sit here and do this for the rest of the letters and I'll meet y'all back whenever I'm done with that. Okay, so now that all of that is done, you can see what it looks like. It just says greetings goals and I know it's not perfectly straight, as straight as it probably could be, but it kind of gives it more of that homemade feel. <laughs> is what I'm gonna call it since I didn't get it perfectly straight on there like I started out good and then it progressively just got a little bit more messed up but it's okay it's homemade it's mine it's perfectly fine so I'm gonna have to go outside and show you what I'm gonna do with the rest of it because remember in the original plan we we're gonna put a spider web on this side well I have a different idea of how I'm gonna do that this time so we're gonna have to go outside but before we go outside I'm gonna show you the other little thing that you can do to kind of you know you can do it to spice up your kitchen for the holiday days if you want to do it this way and it's really quick and simple now again this cup come from, came from the Dollar Tree it was just a dollar now in the store it looked black and then I got it home and it's actually like a really really dark kind of cocoa brown color I don't know how well y'all can really see that on camera but it actually is a really really dark brown color but I've already bought it so you know I'm still gonna use it and then I went with my handy dandy Cricut machine and I cut off another little decal this one just says spooky I've used it before in some of my other projects as you've seen so it fits in right well with my kitchen now again if you don't have access to a Cricut or you can't get the decals made you can do the same process and I've seen they have the big letters at the Dollar Tree or again, you can get the stickers from any craft store like these and you can spell out what you want to on it. Obviously do a little bit better job than I did on our board to get them straight, but you can use the same thing. I think this would look really pretty if you had the black one and you use the, like the orange lettering on this. That would be really, really cute. So, but I'm, since my kitchen is black and white, we are going to be using this. So all I'm gonna do is just take the cup find the center right here and then we're just going to peel off and place our letter so I'm going to be using this for decorative purposes if you wanted to use this for functional you would need to put some kind of sealant over it some water-based sealant over it so it would not come off if you washed it and you would have to hand wash it from that point forward so what I'm going to do is just let the cup lay naturally I'm going to peel off my decal here. All right. And I'm just going to place it right in the center. Okay. Like so. I'm making sure all the letters get stuck on there. Now when you're working with curved surfaces, it can be a bit of a pain to get some of the decals to stick, but you just kind of have to work with them a good bit. And make sure you get them really nice and smoothed out. So we're gonna go from this side and we're gonna remove our tape. And there's different opinions on how quickly you need to remove the transfer tape. Some people say rip it off really quick and others say to do it slow. It just kind of depends on 
the item that you're working with. Like with this, it's better for me to do it slow. Now that that's done, and you see right here, I have one little spot that didn't sit perfectly, so we're just going to make sure that gets stuck down on there. Okay, and that is our little decorative spooky cup and now this is actually going to be used to hold like straws and stuff so that's all this is going to be used for it's not really going to be used for a functional purpose but like i said if you wanted to do this you could either put a resin coating over it or you could put some kind of water-based clear coat over it and make sure you get it on there really really good so and you also want to make sure that whatever clear coat you use is you know food food grade I think is how you say it food you know that you can actually once you get done with it you can put your mouth on it and drink out of the cup so but I'm using this for decorative purposes so this is this part of the craft is done so now we're going to move to the outdoor section of the craft all right so we have now moved outside and these are the things you're going to need you're going to need your little board that we made and you're also going to need whatever spray paint you want to use and you're going to need a clear coat so we have to go on a hunt for real spider webs that is what we are using that is what we're doing this has been very popular this year and i've done a few um pieces of spider web art you know you find old abandoned webs that the spiders are no longer using and you repurpose them for like artistic purposes <laughs> that would be the best way to say that so we're going to go on the hunt around my yard for some real spider webs and then when we find one that has been abandoned we are going to use the spray paint and cover it Alrighty, so we are at the edge of my property this is normally where i can find my spider webs so we are just going to kind of look around and see what abandoned ones we can find so here we go <laughs> Okay, so it seems that I have stumbled across one. It looks pretty small. You can't really see it, but it is right in this journal area. So I'm going to go ahead and use my spray paint. And I don't see the creator of the spider web. So we're just going to go ahead and assume that it's abandoned because I don't really see him anywhere. So we're going to go ahead and spray this and then cover our plaque in it. So all you're going to do is you're just going to take your spray paint and you're going to go from the side and you're just going to coat your spider web in it. So, like so. And then you can kind of see it starting to form there. Okay, so I had to turn the camera off and put it down because I ended up getting a little bit of spray paint all over the camera now because the wind decided to change whenever i started spray painting but this is what it's going to look like whenever you finally get the spider web on it now ideally you would want it to kind of wrap around as well but this one it just whenever it pulled it just kind of pulled off and it stayed right there but let me give you a good clear shot of what it looks like so give me a second oh there we go so this is what our little plaque looks like now all I'm gonna do from here is I'm just gonna put a thing of clear coat over it and then this booger will be done and as you can tell I used a off-white spray paint because I thought that would look good against the contrast of the black so it wouldn't look perfect because if you look at a spider web it's more clear than anything so you want to make sure that you capture it but that is pretty good for our spider web now I'm just going to add the clear coat Okay, so I brought it back up here on the porch and I'm just going to use my clear Rust-Oleum spray paint and just do a nice coat over it. And then this craft just needs to dry and it will be done. 
Okay, so good thing I did actually stop the video at that point in time because my camera battery decided to die on me and I have another video to get through tonight. So hopefully, hopefully we won't have any issues. We will see. But, you know, I'm recording in 4K, so it's kind of hard for it. But anyways, I hope y'all found that a little bit simple and maybe it'll give you an idea of what you can do to decorate your own spooky home. I know in the shop, the next shop update will be the 1st of October. That is what I'm planning for. There's going to be a couple new items on there just for Halloween, kind of spooky season. I'll probably run them until they sell out. And then once they're sold out, they're gone. It's probably what's going to happen. But, um, so yes, hopefully that gives you some ideas on how you can make your own little spiderweb art. It's pretty, fairly simple, you know, you just have to be brave enough. Me, even me, terrified of spiders. You have to be brave enough to go looking for spider webs, and you know, you might see a spider or two. It's the, ris the risky right? <laughs> but that is how I did that. If it wasn't that clear, I'll see about making another video if you want me to about really explaining this, but it's fairly simple. You just find the spider web, you kind of go at it at an angle and you get, make sure it's like fully coated with whatever paint you are using. And then you just go up from behind and kind of run your, place your object. Say this is, let's see here. Let's see here. So you got your spider web right here. You got your little plaque or whatever that you're using. You want to spray it from an angle and then you want to come up behind the spider web and kind of push it forward. That way you put the spider web on it without actually tearing it up. Like I said, if you want me to do a more in-depth video about that, I can. It's a little bit difficult because last time I tried to do this one. When I did this one, I got spray paint all over my camera. So, and I just got the camera. I just got a brand new camera and I got spray paint all over it. You know how bad I was, but you, that, you know, it's a tangent. But that, that is that one. And I guess I do this with just a little side kind of craft because I saw somebody else do this. They actually took the letters from the Dollar Tree and put it on here. I think they put boo or something on theirs. I can't remember what craft video it was because I've been watching other craft videos along with making my own craft videos. So, because I've been having to look up how to do certain things for some projects that I didn't know how to do, which I haven't really, you know, those projects I don't show y'all. It's the ones that I know how to do myself. I just show the ones that I show you. But this is what we ended up making. Uh, if you can see, we just ended up putting a little vinyl sticker on here that says spooky. And unfortunately, I didn't notice it when I was in the store that this cup is actually brown, but it does show up a little bit more black than anything. So that is why I'm just going to keep it hanging around. But the point of me doing this is I got these cute little straws from Walmart. These were about 79 cents. These are paper straws. And all I'm going to do is just take them out of their packaging. Okay. And this is just going to be my lovely little straw holder. And that is how cute and spooky that kind of looks for every day. I need to get some more just so I'll have some. I don't think I'll ever go through these straws, but I do have metal straws and stuff to stick in here as well. So this is pretty, pretty much what it's going to look like all year round and just sit in with the rest of my home decor pieces. So yes, those are our two little crafts there. Hopefully y'all both like these. I mean, they go really good together too. Because can you see this sitting like somewhere where you make coffee or something? It'd be look really, it would look really, really cute. That is the plan. Anyway. That is the goal. <laughs> is it supposed to look cute in the kitchen? That is the goal. But... Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see kind of more simple little spooky home decor pieces because I can make those. Like I said, these are fairly simple. Um, and I can also give you alternatives on how to do this. Like I said, you can find these stickers pretty much anywhere nowadays um, since it is Halloween, even though they're starting to be replaced by Christmas stuff right now, which is just, just, no. <laughs> no, it's like it's not Christmas yet. It has its own time. Now is not the time. But that's neither here nor there. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this video and my little rambling. Let me know down in the comments what you thought and let me know what other crafts you're wanting to see that's more home decor related. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.